it's going to be tip down city out here. Guys, welcome back to another episode of Wisconsin Fisherman. My name is Kyle. Out here with my dad, Kevin. Today, Work. we are doing some tip down crappie fishing. Um, I found this little spot kind of on a base and it seems like the crappies are just roaming here. Um, there might be a tree below us too. Somebody might have put a tree here. I don't know. It kind of looks like something on the live scope, whether it's weeds or trees or something. There's something down below us. So we're setting all the tip downs in this pretty general vicinity and the fish are kind of going in and out from the tree and whatnot. But um, yeah, so basically we're waiting for the fish to bite the rod. The rod will go down. We set the hook. We're just trying to catch a quick limit of crappies, have a fish fry. Um, need your scope over here. Yeah, definitely. But uh, yeah, we're going fishing. Look at this. See this? So this is like flat bottom. And then this big thing right here, it's tree, there's a fish there, there's something else here. It's it's neat. The minute we put minnows on these, it's gonna be a game on. Now these are old construction cone tip downs. People might have seen these in the previous videos that Call we did. What you want, I don't know what they are. But they work good, just yeah. whoop, and then we come over, They're markers. pull the pin out, and then grab we'll them. We'll give you a demonstration real quick when the fish hits. Yeah, it's probably gonna be halfway decently okay so we have a couple different kind of minnows we have fat heads and we have rosy reds in here i'm gonna try rosy red it's almost like a little goldfish but it's not a goldfish don't get all butt hurt it's just a rosy red that's what they call them this one's like pregnant it's huge yeah, it looks like it. so and with these crappie too they're very finicky on the bite they don't want to chase these minnows around so what we'll do is we'll slide the sinkers a little bit closer to the minnow, pinning the minnow so the minnow can only go about two inches each way. We're going to set her down and we're fishing. Just want to keep on looking over at it because it could be any second. Hopefully, if they're here and they're hungry, we should be able to catch a couple. This one I'm just going to do a regular fathead minnow. Oh, it's bobbing. That's the minnow you think? No. That's a fish already. Yeah. Chasing it. Yep, it's getting chased. Oh, they're there. All right, so just working on the second line and we think the first one's already got something going on. Very sensitive tips, you can see. All right, this one's down. On to the next. Two in. Oh, that one just got hit. That's a fish. That's a fish. Go get it. Go get it. It's fish. It's on. Yeah, it is. Go get it. It's on. We got a fish. Second one. Already banging. Dad's going to be on instant. Boom. Second rod set up. Hooked up. How's it feel? Look at that. Perfect slab. Swallowed it. Perfect. All right, let me get the next one on. That was on, not on the rosy red, but I'm putting a rosy red on this one. You need snips? No, it's on. We got it? Okay. So you need a minnow then. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Go, go. Number two. Slap it. Missed him. Missed him. Popped out of his mouth. I was going to say, it's going to be hard to run six rods, but we'll do it. Yeah, it's a 30, it's 30 foot deep here. So we're going to keep every crappie that we catch. Okay. Good, good. Checking the minnow on that one. We need one more minnow on this one. Oh, right behind you, right behind you. There we go. Oh my gosh, I'm all caught up. There we go. There's a nice one. Cool. Boom, boom. Keeper. Minnow was all right too. Drop that one back down there. This one is set. Yep, right there, right there. Grab her. Let 
Boom. <laughs> There's a hole there. Yep, I found it. First one I caught. Does it? Yeah. Sweet. I'll grab you a minnow. Awesome. Literally instant. Oh, right behind you. Oh, I missed it. I'm gonna put the minnows right to this side of us because the wind's blowing that way. The line's gonna blow that way every time. We... Do you have to take the rod out every time? I just grab the line and pull like that. Ooh, this one feels good. Why? You don't need to. Gotcha. This one's decent. Here we go. Oh, come back. Got him. Four. Biggest one yet, Bob. Still got the minnow. Even though we'll put a new one on. Nope. Yeah, there goes yours. Instant. You just set it down. Ooh, he let go. Smash him. Right there. Wham. Boom. Holy smokes. I ain't even gonna have to edit this video. It's just gonna be one whole cut. Another nice one. And they're not like giant slabs, but they're perfect eaters. Perfect eaters. All right, we're gonna have a break for a half a second. And these, see, these two are the closest to the tree right here, or whatever's down there, like I said. There's something down there. You got your hook out of this one? Yeah. Okay. See it? I'm gonna put some snow in the minnows, guys. Key trick to keep the minnows alive longer, keep them cold. The colder they are, the longer they last. All right, are we gonna have a minute to just stand here for a second? I don't even have the guillotine down. I wanted to put the automatic jigger, jigger, jigger down. Here we go, here we go right here. On like Donkey Kong. Boom, another one. Perfect keeper, perfect little eater. Two for two, holy smokes. Oh, this one feels good. So this one's out right now and then the other one's out. Yeah. This one needs a minnow. You wanna know how long we've been rolling on the camera for? 22 minutes. Yep, and then we got two, four, six, seven fish over there. That's right. That's what we aim for. Oh, what's happening here? Missed him. That one wasn't tipping. Oh, it was stuck on the thing was stuck. Well, let's go 20 fish and call it a day. It was on for a second, it felt. I got you. So you're just gonna hit the back of the handle and whoop. There you go. Nice. That's a good one. That's a slab. Sweetness. Look at that. Boom. Well, hang on a second here. Let me get your hook and then I'll pull the line out. Give me your hook. And then you just stay there. <laughs> no, I, I, can do, I can get the line down as long as I don't move. Oh, the one behind me just bobbed. Here, go, up, go for it. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Got him. Yeah, you gotta definitely make sure the wind blows it towards you. There's another one. We're gonna be done in like 10 minutes. I'm gonna use the same minnow even. I'm just gonna go right back down with the same minnow. For sure. They're hungry. 
Holy smokes. Boom, 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 boom. Nine fish. Look at this. Look at this. Nice. Yeah, meh, meh. Nice. Behind me. Which one? This one? Nope. This is wild. Yeah. I mean, it's just like slip bobber, except you don't got to watch your bobbers. You're watching for that rod to just drop. They're so, they're so much more sensitive. I mean, just even a little bit of a fish pulling on it well, sets that, her off. Both of these? Both of these? Yep. Yeah, these outside ones are going to be... Yeah, here we go. Got them. Come on, Neil. That's on that same minnow too. And I'm going to go back down with the same minnow again. Because I still got them on there. There you go, right there in front of you. Get them. Are you on? Nice, oh, man. Look at these fish. Hopefully I'm not in your line. I'll get you a minnow. You need a minnow? Ooh, behind you, behind you, behind you. Ooh, there's a good one. I caught three fish on that minnow. Yeah, I do. Look at that. Two minutes without a fish. What do we do? Just pick off the whole tree or what? You gotta wait for the next school to come into the tree. Yeah. There he is, too, right here. This one? Yeah. Oh, he let it go. I don't know if we've caught one out there. No. Have you? No. Maybe we should move it in. We got a hole right here. We could move it to this one. I thought if I grabbed a piece of food, the fish would bite, but that ain't the case. Well, I got time. I could set the automatic jigger up. Yeah. They're going to let me set the jigger up. I want to get that out. The old guillotine. We'll set the guillotine up right here. She's gonna start jigging and she's gonna be ready to rock and roll just like that. So we'll know that a fish is hitting it when it just bounces just a little bit. Once it goes a little bit further, boom, it'll set the hook. <clears throat> that was pretty cool. <laughs> there you go, right in front of you, just got hit. There she goes. <clears throat> it's on, it's on. Yep. They're coming back. She rolling sideways on you? Nope. Oh yeah. That's a good fish. Nice slab. Slab. Four more fish and we got our limit. Gotcha. Here we go. That one just got hit. Yep, we're on. There it is. Small. But it's a fish and it's been a few minutes. Ooh. Not bad. There we go. A little, about a 15 minute lull there. Just didn't have nothing going on. Oh, here we go. Another solid little fish. Not a 
13 inch slab, but good 10 incher. Midday update, it slowed down significantly. We might have caught all the crappies that were hanging out on the bushy tree, whatever's below us. Just wait for more to circle in. There's a lot of them in here. The other day we were here kind of chasing schools around with the live scope and there were hundreds and hundreds of crappies. But some of them stick to the structure. Some of them go roam the basins. Some that roam the basins stop by the structure and stay there. And we catch them. Just checked all the minnows on them. Did a little minnow re there. We got uh, changed a couple minnows. So It looks like there's still some fish. Oh, there's a whole bunch over here, whole school of them. Yeah. Forty feet. Take my jigger out to this hole. Well, it's not right where it, where they are, but it's worth a shot to move one of these. Nine and three quarters. I would say they're all about the same size. Might, they don't want it. Come on. On. Boom, guillotine, smack them. Now that I found them over here. All right, one more fish and we're done. And then that other level, does that drop down? Yeah, the servo goes to the left and then that pops the line off. Oh, we got a tip down over there. Go get it. Going down, going down, going down. Going down. All we had to do is walk away for a second. Yawn. Decent one. Woo, yup. Another 10 incher. Cool. I think that's 20. That's 20. Let's do one more final count and we'll wrap her up. Okay. My players are in the bucket. Anyways. All right, one final count, and we'll start wrapping her up. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We got our 20. Just like that. All righty, we're wrapping her up. We smashed some crappies today, guys. Look at that. Good eaters. You know, 10 inches, they're not the giant slab. Uh, what, slab like 12, 13 inches. I like to see some of them big fish go back. You know, them are good breeder fish, but holy smokes. Dad, did you have fun? Absolutely. That's a good time. We smacked them. Well, we're gonna get packed up here. Like always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the tip down video. These are super simple to make. You can make them out of wood. Just find an old rod and it's, it's super easy. Just try it once. But like always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you next time.